What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Lauren and I am a Denver-based flight attendant with a major US airline. This is a very exciting vlog because I am heading back to Hawaii. I'm actually going back to the very same hotel and I'm heading back to Kona on a three-day trip. I got rid of my reserve blocks, so I decided why not pick up a Hawaii. I am picking it up out of the Phoenix space, so I will head to Phoenix tomorrow morning, and I have about a 3 p.m. report time, so my best friend actually lives in Phoenix. She just moved from Indy not too long ago, so hopefully we can get together, get some lunch, and then she'll take me on back to the airport, and I will start my three-day trip. I actually don't overnight in Kona until the second night. So the first night will be in Sacramento for only 12 hours where I intend to just honestly eat and get some rest before the long flight to Hawaii. Very excited, it's kind of set up like my last trip where I have an overnight in California and then I go from Sacramento to Honolulu and then do a little island jump over to Kona. So I'm very excited for this trip. I also am filming this on a brand new camera. I got the G7X, finally. This has been on my list for years and I finally have it. So excited. I will miss my old camera because it's very easy to use. This has a little bit more settings, so bear with me on this video. I'm filming on a brand new camera that I'm honestly not familiar with, but hopefully I will get to know very soon. So I am honestly gonna head to bed here in a little bit. I'm all packed and ready to go, but I figured I'd give this video a little bit of an introduction. And I will see you guys bright and early when I head to Phoenix tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys from Indianapolis. It is not even 5 a.m. and I'm about to head to the airport to catch my flight to Phoenix. I got pretty decent sleep. I fell asleep pretty early. I'm kind of on that schedule again, which is weird. But I'm very excited for this trip. I'm also excited to get to the airplane and sleep for a few hours. Um, and I'm really excited to see my best friend Morgan in Phoenix. So hopefully it is a good day, all goes well. And uh, yeah, I will catch up with you guys later. Gang's all here. We've got Kobe, we got Morgan, we got Adam. He's about to hit the golf course. Kobe. And the, oh my gosh. Kobe, come here. Those are some big come. jumps. Come. I'm at the gate and I hate vlogging in public, but we do two flights. It is about three o'clock in Phoenix and we head to LAX and then Sacramento and then we have a 12 hour overnight. So excited to get in bed. I'm exhausted. I got up at like 4 a.m. this morning, um, but I had a really good day with my best friend and I'm ready to get to work. All right, guys, I made it on the plane and I'm working the D position, which is kind of like the extra. I think my last flight attendants left this out. We still need snacks and drinks to be um, catered on here, but I actually love this position. It's pretty rare that I get it because it's pretty senior. So yeah, overall I'm very excited for this trip and I hope that it all goes well. We are going to LAX first. We only have 80 some passengers and then on to Sacramento for a 12 hour overnight. What's up guys? So we just made it to Sacramento. I have had the longest day of my life and I'm so excited to go to bed. But before I do that, I will show you my room. I ordered some fries from downstairs. I'm gonna hop in the shower and get in bed. This room is definitely interesting. Like, it's not what I expected, but I'm gonna give you a little room tour. For some reason, I'm going hoarse. I'm like getting over a cold, so I think it's just from like talking all day, but don't mind my very raspy voice, but I will show you my room and I am gonna just get ready for bed. It's a 12 hour overnight. All right, the beds look very comfortable. 
there's all of that. But then it goes into a very interesting setup and we love a Keurig and a microwave. I just don't think I've seen a hotel room like set up like this. And then here's the sink, the shower, <laughs> and then the toilet, which is definitely weird. I don't know how to describe it, but it's definitely not what I was expecting, but it's still really nice. Alrighty guys, it is officially time to go to Hawaii. I cannot believe I'm going back already. I can't believe I'm going back to Kona. I had such a great experience a few months ago or weeks ago, I don't even know when I was there, but so excited to be going back. One long flight to Honolulu and then we go to Kona. So I will see you guys later. I'm always the one that gets stuck at the end of the hallway, always. Guys, I'm sweating, I'm losing my voice, but I am back in Kona. And when I tell you my view is absolutely beautiful, I am just so happy to be here. I just missed Hawaii. I know I was just here not too long ago, but could not be happier right now. I know I sound bad, but I feel totally fine. So I am going to change and head on out. I think I'm gonna go just kind of down to the like lagoon or pool area, maybe get a drink. And then later on, I think I might hit up like a grocery store or something. I want to get some Hawaiian like snacks and stuff. So yeah, I'm just so pumped to be here. And I know if you've already watched my vlog, you kind of already know what the room looks like, but I'm going to give you a new and improved room tour of this beautiful hotel. And wait till you see this view. It is absolutely stunning. You guys, this is so beautiful. All right, here is the room tour. I think last time I had two beds, so this time I get one and that is totally fine. Let's see, it's literally the exact same, but yeah, super nice, super big, nice big closet. And um, yeah, I'm gonna change and head on downstairs. All right guys, it is time to head down and see what we can get ourselves into. Also, I'm obsessed with this cover up from Amazon. It is like the perfect beach vacation cover up. I love it. Down the beach bag Lucas got me for my birthday. It is literally from my favorite collection, the Aloha collection. They are amazing and they're waterproof. So if you're going to a beach vacation, I highly recommend looking into this brand and just all of the beach essentials that you could ever think of. guys I'm just just having one of those moments that I'm just happy to be back here and just it brings back a lot of memories living here and even though I'm not on the island that we lived on it's still the same vibe it's still the same feeling so it's pretty emotional being back here because I did spend like a year of my life but it's also a really good feeling at the same time so sorry about my voice this is bad <laughs> But yeah, it's just just good to be back. It's just so bittersweet. I, I can't explain the feeling. It's just very, uh, very strong. Um, but I just so glad that I'm already back. I think it's only been a month since I've been in Kona. Um, 
One of these days I'm gonna get Honolulu. One of these days, but this will do for now. I think I'm gonna head back up to my room in just a little bit and then see if I can get some poke. I just wanted to let you guys know how committed I was to poke that I ended up paying a $30 round trip Uber just to get this and it was worth every single penny, but I just thought you guys should know. All right, food land haul. I got some Lehing candies. They're so good. My favorite chips ever. I got a chocolate bar for Lucas. This coffee is phenomenal. I'm obsessed. And last but not least, my beloved poke that I have waited for months to eat. No one understands. I'm so excited. What's up guys, so I just got done walking around the resort one final time before heading back to eventually Phoenix tonight. We do one flight to Oakland and then we switch planes and we go Oakland to Phoenix since this is a Phoenix um, trip. Unfortunately, we get in so late that I have to get a hotel room tonight in Phoenix. Um, obviously, it's not my base and the trip is over, so I need to get a hotel, and then I'm gonna take the very first flight out in the morning to Indy. It's not ideal, but it's kind of what you have to do to get these Hawaii trips. You gotta go to the West Coast, and my base, Denver, it has some Hawaii trips, but not a lot, so it's definitely easier to get them in other bases, so that's what I did. And um, I'm just gonna hang out here, watch the waves, and put my uniform on in just a few minutes, and then head on to the van to go to the airport. All right guys, unfortunately it's time to leave. I'm so sad, but I know that I'm gonna be back to Hawaii hopefully sometime soon. It was a great overnight. I'm so glad that I woke up early and walked around and kind of took in everything before it was time to get ready and leave. Unfortunately, I did not find a good plumeria to wear in my hair today, so we are rocking the, the fake flower, but that's all right. And yeah, I'm ready, I guess, for my four and a half, five hour flight to Oakland and then on to Phoenix. So I will see you guys soon. What's up, guys? Please don't mind my appearance. I just got out of the shower, but there were some unfortunate circumstances that happened after this trip. I ended up getting the flu and then passing it on to my fiance. So that was super unfortunate. It has been a very rough week and a half, but all things considered, we both got pretty mild versions of the flu. It's just been going around. So please be safe, wash your hands, please take care of yourself, take vitamins, get vaccinated if you can because the flu is seriously going around, so be safe. I am feeling much better. Lucas is always uh, is um, also feeling much better, but it kind of took us took us a second to come out of it. It's been just an interesting week and a half, especially with the really crappy weather here in Indy. So that's why this video is going up late. I've had no motivation to post this video, and to be honest, I'm not exactly too happy with how this turned out. I think it could have been better. Um, so I apologize for the parts where I should have filmed, but my voice was so shot, especially in Hawaii, that I just could not bring myself to film. So I do apologize for the choppiness, but I will make it up to you in a future video. So if you did still like this video, which I hope you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you aren't already a subscriber, it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe and support my channel so I can keep putting out videos for you. I really did enjoy filming this even though I did not have a voice and yeah, and Luna's barking at our neighbors right now. So with that being said, that is the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on my next flight to the vlog.